in the context of HIV, we've had an uh, inquiry into why children are dying, and we know that children die in the first 28 days, called neonatal, the neonatal stage. And from those children that have died, 60% of them died because of malnutrition, specifically going back to diarrhea. And the reason why children die of diarrhea is because they, firstly, the immune system is not developed, so they have an uh, immature immune system. And then the feeding options mothers are choosing specifically around formula feeding is that we have an introduction of contaminants. When the WHO issued their international guidelines, and they were basically saying, we've looked at the evidence, we've weighed up the risk, yes, there is a small risk of HIV transmission through breastfeeding, but we know how to make it safer if the mother is either on treatment or if the baby gets prophylaxis. We can reduce that transmission down to 1 to 2 percent. And we know, on the other hand, very strong clinical evidence that not breastfeeding or breastfeeding for a very short period of time increases the infant's risk of infant mortality. And then the lower lip. This is not right. She needs to sit back and It was very, very difficult because people were not understanding. You had to really, really talk to them, intensive counseling, and sit with them and explain how important is the breast milk. We're now unifying the message and we're simplifying it and we're having one message for all mothers regardless of HIV status. Whereas in the past it was, if you're positive it's different, if you're negative it's different. If you, you know, it became very complicated in terms of what the actual message is. 